Kev, over to you. Incredible story there, Todd. Thank you so much. Meantime, St. Thomas University in Florida is pledging to bring students back on campus next week, and that's actually uh, in stark relief compared to some colleges across the nation beginning the semester remotely. And that's happening despite accepting millions and millions of dollars, that is, in government COVID funds. And here to react is the president of St. Thomas University, David Armstrong, senior at St. Thomas University, Abigail Delva, senior at the University of uh, Chicago, Audrey Unverfirth, who was actually remote learning for the first couple of weeks of the semester, and campus reform correspondent and Vandy student Jordan Eswick. Uh, uh, Professor uh, Armstrong, President Armstrong, let me begin with you. Um, I, I have to say, as someone who lived in South Florida, I'm familiar with your university. It is very well regarded, and I'm sure a lot of the students, and to say nothing of the faculty, appreciate the fact that you're making sure that the optimal education is happening by having students back on campus. Absolutely, Kevin. Thanks for having us on. And uh, from the beginning of the pandemic, we made a decision at St. Thomas University to make decisions for our students. We were not going to make decisions based on the panic, the political, or the timid. We were going to make decisions on what was best to give our students a full collegiate experience while keeping our most vulnerable safe. And with the support of the federal government, we've been able to purchase things and uh, the chemical biocides, saltwater biocides, to help clean the campus and move forward to make sure that we give a full collegiate experience. Athletically, residence life, student activities, and it's one of the reasons why we've set three straight years of record enrollment in our largest and strongest class in the history of the law school this year. I was going to say, and a stellar law school to boot. Let me uh, bring you into the conversation. Abigail, listen, I think it's uh, anyone's uh, joy to get out there and see the palm trees. But, you know, sometimes it does actually help, I imagine, having the interactivity, not just with professors, but also with your fellow students. Tell me what that's like for you. Um, I've had a great experience here at St. Thomas. I know that we're taking all the necessary precautions and following all the necessary protocols to ensure a safe and great semester. Meanwhile, Audrey, uh, uh, you're actually, unfortunately, doing remote learning for the first couple of weeks uh, up in uh, Chicago. Listen, I get it. Sometimes you, this sort of thing happens, uh, but I'm sure you'd like to get back out there and see your fellow students. How are you handling uh, that uh, remote learning circumstance? Absolutely. Well, I wish the University of Chicago were similarly following the science. It's honestly a little bit embarrassing that we're going back into more COVID theater, more Zoom University, which is a lousy substitute for in-person real education. There's just no excuse for it anymore. And no comparison is what I'm hearing from a lot of college students. They simply say, listen, it's just not the same. Uh, Jordan, I think you would probably right. agree with that. What's your take? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, at Vanderbilt, we've effectively been uh, locked down uh, in the beginning of school. I can't leave my dorm room uh, to go to the library to eat at the dining hall. If I go to my synagogue and my friends go to mass, we could be suspended. We could be expelled. We'd have to go through a disciplinary process. I actually transferred to Vanderbilt from a school in California, thinking that it being in the South, they'd be a little more salient about these issues. It turns out that you have the same woke administrators there as you do in Chicago, I assume, and they're just as irrational about this uh, glorified cold. Well, I can tell you're a smart student if you got into Vandy. Before we go, I want to share for the folks at home the colleges that received some of this government money. And we're talking about massive amounts of money to ensure the educational experience, to get students back on campus. Yale, Duke, Temple, UW up in Seattle, Vandy, you just heard uh, mentioned there, and even down at the U, $41 million. David Armstrong, Abigail Delva, Audrey Unverfirth, and Jordan Estrick, we really appreciate you guys getting up early for us and spending time as we continue to unpack what could be a very interesting semester for you all. Thank you again.